Hello everyone. Welcome to Basics e-learning. In lesson number 12 video, I am going to discuss problems on periodic aperiodic signals. Actually, this is the continuation to the previous lesson that is video number 11. So, in this video, I am going to discuss problems on discrete time signals that is to check whether the given discrete time signal is periodic or aperiodic and also how to calculate the fundamental time period for different models of problems. The basics of these topics are already discussed in my previous videos. I suggest you to go through with the concepts before you start with the problems. So, I am leaving a link in the description box. The first problem I am going to discuss here is check whether the following signals are periodic or not. If periodic, find the fundamental period. So, the first subsection given here is x of n is equal to cos 2 pi n. So, we know the signal cos omega naught n is periodic if and only if omega naught is the rational multiple of 2 pi. That is 2 pi into, you have to write down this in the form of 2 pi into m by n where this n will be the periodicity or the fundamental period and m and n both should be integers. So, now let us compare this. So, omega naught if I compare the given signal with the cos omega naught n, I have omega naught is 2 pi. So, write this in the form of 2 pi into m by n. That is nothing but 2 pi into 1 by 1. So, these two are here integers only. So, this is a and these, this is a rational fraction. m by n is a rational number. So, cos 2 pi n is periodic with the fundamental period n is equal to 1. So, cos 2 pi n is periodic here. Coming to the second part, you are given with x of n is equal to cos 2n. You have to compare this cos 2n with the fundamental signal cos omega naught n. So, here omega naught is equal to 2. So, this 2 we have to write it in the form of 2 pi into m by n. Right? So, I don't have any pi term here. So, you cannot write this omega naught in the form of 2 pi into m by n. So, this is not a periodic signal. Right? So, this is a non-periodic signal. Next problem is determine whether the following signal is periodic or not. If periodic, find the fundamental period. So, the given signal x of n is cos of 8 pi n by 7 plus 2. So, the fundamental signal here that you have to compare is cos of omega n plus 5 where 5 is the phase difference here. So, omega if you compare with this signal you will be getting it as 8 pi by 7 right 8 pi by 7 in place of n I have n right and phi is equal to 2. So, we will check it out here. This omega, you have to write it in the form of 2 pi into m by capital N. Now, try to write it down. So, 8 pi I have in the numerator that you separate 2 pi. Then the remaining is 4, right? So, 4 into 2 pi is 8 pi divided by I have 7 in the denominator, write it down. So, with this pi, we don't have to do anything with this phase difference here. So, now, if you can write this omega in the form of 2 pi into m by n and now check whether m and n both are integers or not. Yes, these both are integers. Now, the signal is periodic with the fundamental period n is equal to 7. Write it down. Fundamental period is 7 and the signal is periodic signal. The next problem here is determine whether the discrete time signal z of n is periodic where z of n is equal to z1 of n plus z2 of n where z1 of n and z2 of n are also periodic signals with period of 90 and 54 respectively. So, here you are given with the addition of two signals where the two fundamental signals here are periodic. So, we need to check 
whether the addition of two fundamental periodic signals is periodic or not if it is periodic then what is the periodicity we need to check it out right so you are given with here z of n is equal to z1 of n plus z2 of n let us see the fundamental period of z1 z1 of n is n1 which is equal to 90 and the fundamental period of z2 b n2 which is 54 given in the problem so first step is try to calculate n1 by n2 so that is nothing but 90 divided by 54 so which is nothing but 5 by 3 so this 5 by 3 check it out whether it is a rational number or not yes it is a rational number so once you confirm the ratio n1 by n2 is rational then you can say the sum of the signal that is z of n is periodic if it is not a rational number then the sum is not periodic so though the both the signals z1 and z2 are periodic there is no rule that z of n has to be periodic right so if it, it if, if z1 and z2 both are periodic then to the periodicity matters here the ratio of their periodicity or the fundamental periods is rational then only you can say the signal that is after addition of these two periodic signals whatever it may be the resultant that z of n i can say it is periodic then coming to step 3 calculating the fundamental period of this resultant signal the added signal so for that write out z1 n1 by n2 is equal to 5 by 3 so take the gcd of this denominator that is nothing but 3 into 1 so take lcm of these two numbers lcm of 5 uh, 3 comma 1 lcm of this denominator so lcm of 3 comma 1 is nothing but 3 so let us call l is equal to 3 step 4 the fundamental period n is given by n1 into l what is n1 90 into l 3 right so that is nothing but 270 so the fundamental period of the resultant signal here is 270 let us discuss one more problem on addition of two signals checking out for periodicity so given signal is x of n is equal to cos 2 pi n by 5 plus cos 2 pi n by 7 so here first they have not given the periodicity the fundamental period of these two signals like last case right so we need to find out the fundamental period for these two signals so for that compare this signals with cos omega naught n here also compare this cos omega naught n so as i have two signals i'm calling this as omega 1 and omega 2 so if i compare here i'll get omega 1 is equal to 2 pi by 5 because the given signal is cos 2 pi n by 5 so you just cancel this n the remaining is omega 1 which is nothing but 2 pi by 5 similarly compare the second part that is cos 2 pi n by 7 with cos omega n so for this n n will be gone so omega 2 will be what 2 pi by 7 right for the first part of the signal i am taking it as omega 1 for the second part of the signal i am considering omega 2 now you have to write this omega in terms of 2 pi into m by capital n so if you write this omega 1 in this form i will get 2 pi into 1 by 5 similarly omega 2 also try to write down in this form 2 pi into m by n that standard form so 2 pi into 1 by 7 so this n1 is the fundamental period of the first part of the signal n1 is equal to 5 similarly the denominator part n2 is equal to 7 is the fundamental frequency fundamental period of the second part of the signal so for first part it is 5 and the second part the fundamental period is 7 now we will calculate the periodicity of the combined signal that is x of n so for that as i told write it down 
the ratio n1 by n2 which is nothing but 5 by 7. Yes, 5 by 7 is a rational number. So, the given signal x of n is periodic. x of n is periodic. Once you have determined, check whether the signal is periodic or not. Now, you can calculate for its periodicity or the fundamental period. So, for that, write down the GCD of denominator. So, 5. So, GCD of 7. 7 into 1 I can write. Now, take LCM of these two numbers. 7 and 1, LCM is 7 only. Right? LCM is 7. So, the fundamental period is nothing but N1 into L. So, 5 into 7, that is nothing but 35. So, the fundamental period of this given X of N or the periodicity is nothing but 35 here. The next problem here is determine the periodicity for the given signal x of n is equal to cos of 1 by 5 pi n multiplied by sin 1 by 3 pi n. So, in the previous cases, we have seen the summation of two signals then finding out the periodicity. But here, the given signal is the product of two sinusoidal signals, right? So, for that, we can convert the given product into summation and then we can go with the normal known procedure. So, how to convert this product into summation? Using the simple trigonometric formula, you can convert this given product into summation. So, as you know, 2 sin A cos B can be written as sin of A plus B plus sin A minus B. So, the given question is in this form only, sin A cos B. So, after writing, rewriting this, I can write it as sin 1 by 3 pi n plus cos 1 by 5 pi n, right? So, this is A and this one I can take it as B. So, as I have only this part, there is no 2 here. This 2 I am writing it to the other side. Now, substituting, I will get here 1 by 2 sin of 1 by 3 pi n plus 1 by 5 pi n. So, taking LCM 15 and the numerator you will get it as 8, right? So, 8 pi by 15 n plus sin, if you take the subtraction 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5, you will get 2 pi by 15 n. Now, this is of that known form. So, to check the periodicity of this uh, entire given signal, First, we have to find out the fundamental period of these two parts. For the first part, for that compare with cos omega 1n and the second part compare with sin omega 2n, right? Sin or cos anything. So, omega 1 is given by 8 pi by 15. This you have to write it in the form of omega into m by capital N. So, this numerator 2 pi omega is equal to 2 pi into m by n, right? So, 8 pi, I will write it as 2 pi into 4 by 15. Similarly, the second part, I will write 2 pi into 1 by 15. So, n1 is also equal to 15 here. n2 is also equal to 15. So, write it down. n1 is equal to 15. n2 is equal to 15. Now, go with the procedure. Find out the ratio n1 by n2 that is nothing but 15 by 15 which is nothing but 1 by 1. So, yes it is a rational. So, the given signal, the product of the two signals is periodic. Now, we have to find out the periodicity. So, for that take LCD, GCD first here for the denominator then find out the LCM. So, I know I have 1 only here. So, the LCM L is equal to 1. So, the fundamental period or periodicity of the product signal N, X of N is given by N is equal to N1 into L, which is nothing but 15 into 1, which is 15 here. For more videos, please do like, share, subscribe to our channel. Let us know your suggestions and queries in the comment box.